Hello friends, you are watching channel number Kulaj. Through this channel, we take sincere efforts to make you understand and like mathematics, science and engineering in a simple and easy manner. In this video, we will understand how to find moment of inertia from the first principle of some of the basic plane lamina rectangle triangle circle semicircle quarter of a circle etc number 1 moment of inertia of a rectangle about the centroidal axis xx parallel to its shorter side this is the shorter side and parallel to this shorter side consider an elementary strip this of width dy width is dy at a distance y at a distance y from the centroidal axis x x its moment of inertia about the centroidal axis x x is given as y square that is square of this distance multiplied by the area of the strip da so area of the strip da will be b multiplied by dy where b is the shorter side of the rectangle and dy is the width of this strip elementary strip integrating we get ixx equals integral of y square b dy we will take b outside the integral sign and write b times y square dy integral of y square will be y cube divided by 3 we will take 1 upon 3 common and substitute the higher limit and lower limit in place of y and write first higher limit d by 2 cube minus lower limit minus d by 2 cube minus d by 2 cube will be minus d cube by 8 and minus of minus will be plus d cube by 8 d cube by 8 plus d cube by 8 will be 2 d cube by 8 which will be b d cube by 12 so moment of inertia of this rectangle about the horizontal centroidal axis x x will be b d cube by 12 number 2 moment of inertia of a triangle with base width b and height h about its base ab consider an elemental strip having thickness dy at a distance y from the base ab let da be the area of this strip in this figure triangle cde cde is similar triangle cab c a b corresponding sides of similar triangles are in the same ratio therefore b1 upon b b1 upon b 
will be equal to h minus y height of the upper triangle h minus y divided by h height of the triangle CAB it gives us d1 equals h minus y divided by h multiplied by b so b1 is h minus y upon h multiplied by b now moment of inertia of this strip about ab about side ab of the triangle will be y square da y square da da is the area of the strip but da is b1 dy substituting the value of b1 which is this so we write y square times h minus y upon h multiplied by b which is the value of b1 multiplied by dy moment of inertia of the triangle this triangle about side ab side ab will be i ab equals integral y square times h minus y divided by h multiplied by b dy which will be b times h divided by h will be 1 y divided by h will be y divided by h multiplying by y square we get y square into y 1 y squared and y square into y will be y cube divided by h integral of y square will be y cube upon 3 integral of y cube upon h will be y raised to 4 divided by 4 h substituting the value of h it will be h cube upon 3 minus h raised to 4 divided by 4 h 1 h this h gets cancelled with 1 h from h raised to 4 and we get h cube upon 4 now h cube upon 3 minus h cube upon 4 will be h cube upon 12 so i a b will be b h cube upon 12 where b is this side a b which is b and the height of the triangle h number three moment of inertia of a circle about its so this is the circle about its diametral axis xx so this is the diametral axis xx consider an element of sides so this is the element which we have to consider whose sides are r d theta so r d theta is the length of the strip and dr is the thickness of this strip dr its moment of inertia about the diametral axis xx about diametral axis xx will be i xx equals y square da here y is the distance of this strip from axis xx 
and DA is the area of this strip. We have y equals r sin theta. See, this is r, so this will also be r. This is angle theta. So naturally, this height y will be r sin theta. So y is r sin theta. DA, that is area of this strip will be r d theta which is the length of the strip multiplied by dr which is the thickness of the strip so i x x equals y square into da substituting the value of y which is this and da which is this we get i x x equals r sin theta which is y square of that multiplied by r d theta dr which is d a so we get r square and sin square theta into r d theta dr r square into r will be r cube sin square theta d theta dr so which is i x x i x x that is moment of inertia of horizontal diametral axis of this circle it will be a double integral of r cube sin square theta d theta dr first we will integrate sin square theta with respect to theta between the limits 0 to 2 pi first we will replace sin square theta by 1 minus cos 2 theta upon 2. We will write r cube upon 2 which is this 2 and integrate 1 minus cos 2 theta with respect to theta. Integral of 1 will be theta. Integral of cos 2 theta will be sin 2 theta upon 2. We will substitute the higher limit and lower limit. Theta will become 2 pi. Sin 2 theta will be sin 4 theta, which is 0. After putting 0, we get theta equals 0. And sin 2 theta upon 2 will be 0. So, we will be left with 2 pi only. Now this 2 cancels with this 2 and we write pi times integral r cube dr from 0 to capital R. Integral of r cube will be r raised to 4 upon 4. We will substitute the limits. It will become capital R raised to 4 upon 4 so finally i x x will be pi r is to 4 upon 4 Now we will discuss moment of inertia of standard sections. First, a rectangle. For rectangle, we have already derived 
that the moment of inertia of rectangle about horizontal axis xx is b d cube upon 12 moment of inertia of this rectangle about the vertical axis yy is d b cube upon 12 which can be easily derived on the same lines as i x x number two we will discuss moment of inertia of rectangle about the base a b which is this by parallel axis theorem we write moment of inertia of rectangle about side a b will be i x x plus a times y c square this is the rectangle and its area will be a and distance y c will be d by 2 which is this one and i x x we have already written here so in place of i x x we write b d cube upon 12 which is this plus area of rectangle will be b d b is short side d is long side and y c is d by 2 so it gives us d square multiplied by d will be d cube 2 squared will be 4 so addition of these two terms will give us moment of inertia of rectangle about the short side AB as B D cube divided by 3. Number 3 moment of inertia of hollow rectangular section which is this one. Its moment of inertia about horizontal axis xx will be i x x equals moment of inertia of outer rectangle which is this minus moment of inertia of inner rectangle which is this. The dimensions are Length of outer rectangle is capital D and breadth is capital B. Length of inner rectangle is small d and breadth is small b. We write moment of inertia of outer rectangle B d cube divided by 12 minus moment of inertia of inner rectangle b d cube divided by 12 we will take 1 upon 12 as the common factor and write 1 upon 12 multiplied by capital b d cube minus small b d cube this is the moment of inertia of this hollow rectangle about the horizontal x axis number four moment of inertia of the triangle this triangle a about the base a b this is base a b we know that i a b equals b h cube upon 12 which we have already derived number b moment of inertia of the triangle about the centroidal axis x x which is parallel to the base so this is 
So this is the centroidal axis passing through centroid G which is parallel to side AB. We can use parallel axis theorem accordingly. We write IXX IAB equals IXX that is moment of inertia about the centroidal axis plus A which is area of this triangle YC squared YC is the distance between the non-centroidal axis AB which is this axis and centroidal axis XX which is this one where YC is H by 3 which is this distance H by 3 according to parallel axis theorem you have IAB that is the moment of inertia of the triangle about side AB equals IXX that is its moment of inertia about the centroidal axis XX plus AYC squared where A is area of this triangle and YC is distance between side AB and the centroidal axis XX. We have IAB equals BH cube upon 12. Area of the triangle will be half base into height, half base B into height H and YC is H by 3 squared h squared multiplied by h will be h cube 3 squared will be 9 and 9 to are is 18 so bh cube divided by 12 minus bh cube divided by 18 works out to be bh cube divided by 36 so the moment of inertia of this triangle about the centroidal axis XX is BH cube upon 36. Number 5. Moment of inertia of a solid circle. This one. About any diametral axis XX will be IXX equals pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 where d is diameter of the circle. Number 6 moment of inertia of a hollow circle this one about diameter AB will be IAB equals Moment of inertia of a solid circle of diameter D which is the outer circle here whose diameter is capital D minus moment of inertia of a hollow circle of diameter D. So the inner circle is the hollow circle with diameter small d about diameter AB. So this is the diameter AB. By parallel axis theorem, we write IAB equals pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 which is IXX minus pi small d raised to 4 divided by 64. Taking pi by 64 as a common factor we write moment of inertia of hollow circle about diameter AB is pi by 64 times K 
capital D raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4. Number 7. Moment of inertia of a semicircle. This one. About any diametral axis AB. This is the diametral axis AB. Moment of inertia about diametral axis AB is half of pi d raised to 4 divided by 64. That will be pi d raised to 4 upon 128. First one, moment of inertia of this semicircle about the centroidal axis xx which is this one passing through the centroid g for a semicircle we know that yc equals 4r divided by 3 pi which will be 2d divided by 3 pi where d is diameter of the same circle here yc is the distance of the distance of the axis AB from the centroidal axis XX which is this one. Area of semicircle will be half pi by 4 d square which will be pi by 8 d square. By parallel axis theorem moment of inertia about AB of this semicircle will be equal to moment of inertia about axis xx which is this one plus area of semicircle A multiplied by yc square which is this distance. Now iab is pi divided by 128 d raised to 4 which is this one equals ixx plus area of semicircle is pi d square by 8 which is this one multiplied by yc is 2d divided by 3 pi which is this and square of it. So ixx will be pi d raised to 4 by 128 minus pi d square by 8 multiplied by square of 2d will be 4d square and square of 3 pi will be 9 pi square. It will become 4 2s are 8 and 9 squared four twos are eight and nine twos are will be eighteen one pi from pi square cancels with this pi so it will be pi so it will be eighteen pi and Next, four twos are eight and two nines are eighteen, which is this eighteen. This pi gets cancelled with one pi of pi squared, and only pi will remain here, which is this pi. D square multiplied by D square is D raised to four. which will be 0 0.0068598 d raised to 4 substituting d equals 2r we get ixx 
that is moment of inertia of this semicircle about its centroidal axis will be i x x equals 0.11 r raised to 4 where capital R is radius of this semicircle. Number 8 Moment of inertia of quarter of a circle this one about the base AB which is this IAB will be one fourth of pi by 64 D raised to 4 which will be pi by 256 D raised to 4 B moment of inertia about the centroidal axis xx which is this distance of centroidal axis yc from the base ab will be yc equals 4r by 3 pi putting r equals d by 2 we get 4r equals 2d so yc will be 2d upon 3 pi area of quarter of a circle will be one fourth of pi by 4 d square which will be pi d square by 16 so this will be the area of this quarter of a circle from parallel axis theorem we have i a b equals i x x plus a times y c square for i a b we will put pi d raised to 4 divided by 256 which is this plus for a we will put pi by 16 d square which is this and for yc we will put 2d upon 3 pi which is this now 2 square will be 4 4 4s are 16 and 4 multiplied by 3 squared 9 so 9 by 4 9 multiplied by 4 will be 36 and d square multiplied by d square will be d raised to 4 so this term finally works out to be d raised to 4 divided by 36 Further calculation gives us i x x equals 0 0.00343 d raised to 4 putting d equals 2 r we get i x x equals 0 0.055 r raised to 4 so this is about finding moment of inertia of some basic geometrical plane figures from the first principles if you like this video please click like share this video with your friends and relatives subscribe this channel thanks for watching keep watching number collage thank you